Hey, we have John from the Italian Fisherman here in our Studio 10 kitchen. And John, you're already going to town a little bit. Show us what we got in here. Yes, sir. Yeah, we've taken some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, dusted it, salt and pepper, and we're cooking it in olive oil. Shortly, I'll be removing that and then adding some fresh rosemary and garlic to this. And then we're going to eventually be adding some other ingredients, reduce the sauce. We've got the potatoes in there that are uh, oven baking now. And um, it's going to come together great. But I'm so happy to hear about Archie because I finally heard there was something older than me. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is that is pretty funny. Are you a fan of the Archie comics? Were you? I remember well reading that growing up. Very much. Yeah, very like, much. Yeah. Like we said, it started in 1941, so been around for a long, long time. Now you said dusted in salt and pepper, also some flour in there as well, correct? Excuse me. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of it's course. Basically, yep. you know, it's it's uh, you know sometimes I say salt and pepper the meat or chicken whatever first and then dredge it. Well, we we season our flour that way. It's got a better chance of really staying on the chicken. Sure. And. Um, but uh, like I say, these are boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And uh, sometimes you, people add a little bit of butter to the olive oil just to give it a little bit more flavor. But either way, if you're going to add butter, you've got to be real careful. Use unsalted butter. It gives you a little bit better temperature hmm. control. And keep the temperature a little bit uh, lower so that it doesn't brown and, and get, get away from you. But uh, you can really smell it. If they get close enough to their TV screen, they can smell it. That's a scientific yeah. fact. Yeah. Hey, uh, we want to tell the folks a little bit more about the Italian fishermen as well. Tell us about where you're located and what kind of stuff you all serve. Well, thank you. Yes, uh, we are located 2503 Old Shell Road, just east of the Florida Street uh, intersection. Very proudly, we got the Nappy Readers Award last July for Best Italian Food. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That was a complete surprise. And they said, uh, can you come to the ceremony? I said, well, it's a Thursday night. I'm, you know, I'm open. Well, eventually I said, well, you won. I said, okay. <laughs> I brought my whole crew down there, and we, and we enjoyed the moment. Um, but uh, we've been doing some great things. Last Saturday, again, we had Bobby Oler from New Orleans that entertained, and I think starting May through the summer. At least once a, month, once a month, he'll come in there on Saturday night. And it's the type of music that everybody that was dining just loved. It just loved it. We've got a wine dinner tonight. Uh, we do. It's going to be wines from New Zealand and uh, California. We've got another one scheduled the 6th of May, which will be French. So if you like wine dinners, you know, it's the best price in town. And well, I tell you what, fun. we're going to talk more about those wine dinners, more about the Italian fishing, and also introduce you to Pepidou coming up in just a little while on Studio 10. All right, thanks so much, gentlemen. Chef John from the Italian Fisherman is making things smell so good here in the studio with some rosemary and garlic. Tell everybody what you're making. Well, we're making that uh, Italian dish called uh, chicken scarpiello. And uh, the key, and I can't actually tell you what the scarpiello translates to, <laughs> but anyhow, the, the unique ingredient is this uh, what we call these pepidus from South Africa. It's a pickled uh, red pepper. It's not hot. Got a little bit of temperature because there's some chili in the sauce, uh -huh. uh, chili powder. But uh, basically, it's a sort of sweet and sour. Gives a great, uh, interesting uh, finish to it. We'll be taking this out and letting this rest because we're going to add some chicken stock. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to reduce that down and let that get the flavors going. And then we're going to be adding a little lemon. And frankly, those at home may want to just, instead of adding lemon, add a little dry sherry. I love dry sherry. Uh, it does so many things for a sauce. It's just yeah. such a, a nice flavor. But we're going to increase this. And then we're going to be putting in some lemon and some butter to emulsify Yummy. the sauce. We've got the potatoes coming along, getting good and browned. And again, we've got, the, uh, we've got both the... Uh, thyme and the rosemary as well as some, scal uh, some shallots on the potatoes. So there's lots of aromatic, lots of herb flavors coming together. All right, yeah, it does smell really, really good. The recipe is on fox10tv.com on our Studio 10 page if you want to go eat at the Italian Fisherman. You have, you're closed Mondays and Tuesdays for private parties, then yeah. Wednesday through Saturday, open to all of us at 5.30 for dinner. And I know that you guys have a big wine dinner planned tonight. Yes, we do. We're going to have a great dinner tonight. There's a couple of three spots open if somebody wants to come. Uh, then the next one's the 6th of May, and that's going to be French wines tonight. It's a California versus New Zealand. And we're going to have great stuff from the most unique bruschetta that you've ever tasted to a Cherry's Jubilee, which is going to use a Syrah port from New Zealand instead of a uh, brandy, instead of a cherry brandy. It's a great but in between. We're going to have stuff like skirt steak and, and cannolis. I mean, it's a full cannolis. Course meal. 
Five. Five course five, meal. Yeah. 50, All right. And fifty dollars inclusive. You can't beat it. Yeah, um, you're getting your money's worth. So lots wines, of good wine, five foods, lots yeah. of good food. The Italian fisherman. It's right off Old Shell Road in Mobile, near Florida Street. The address and this recipe again on our website, box10tv.com, on our Studio 10 page. Letting things heat up, and we'll pull the potatoes out, finish up the chicken in just a few minutes. All right, back in the Studio 10 kitchen, Chef John from the Italian Fisherman is going to town. The finishing touches on our fancy chicken dish here today. So what are you doing here, Chef John? All right, sir, I just uh, went ahead and, and melted some butter in there, unsalted butter, to give a little bit of emulsification or, you know, a little body to the mm -hmm. solution. And now I just did that squeeze there, lemon, which, again... Next time I do this, I'm going to do it with dry sherry because I just love the flavor that dry sherry puts in. And you know, a lot of people don't like lemon and everything. It's that's good, but again, I like dry sherry taste. So we use it in several recipes at the restaurant. And there's our pepperdus and putting our chicken back in the mix for just a little while here. Yeah, we're going to turn it, toss it, so that we get the the glaze on it. We've got the temperature coming up a little. And then you can see we got our potatoes came out looking pretty good. Looks fantastic. Plated up and ready to go. And while you plate that finishing product here, Chef John, tell the folks one more time where you're at so they can come see you. Thank you. We're at 2503 Old Shell Road, just east of the Florida Street uh, intersection. And uh, we're open Tuesday through Saturday, 530 to 9. Uh, private parties available on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, we're real proud of our food, best steaks in town, as well as the traditional seafood dishes, going all the way back to the Constantine's restaurant that uh, in '34, and some of them, which uh, my wife's the uh, daughter of the late Mr. Constantine, so we were able to c continue the integrity of that tradition. And you can see it's got a nice glaze going now. It should have all the flavors. Looks so good. We'll get a finishing shot of this when we come back in just a little bit. Go visit the Italian fisherman. We'll be right back with more Studio 10.